niya pa bakit ka po napaisip na magkaroon ng sariling book um i mean it was it just felt right to tell you know a lot of stories i have a lot of ideas and a lot of stories so i listed everything down all the things that i wanted to do like any business ventures that i wanted to do any thing that i wanted to launch any product that i wanted to create so to launch a book was one of my ideas um, definitely marami namang mga miss universe who come out with a book after the rain but I decided to make mine just a little bit different because I feel awkward telling my story because I feel like I'm not going to be the journey. Ko. So then I said, you know, I want to still I wanna share some life lessons and um, share a story about somebody like me. Then, so we created this one. It was one of the ideas that I pitched with you. I was the pitch ng idea. <laughs> Tapos pinili nila this one um, because they thought it would be a good first um, book for me. I mean, maybe, hopefully, if this goes really well, we can do another one. Maybe ibang concept naman ngayon. Maybe one of the other two na naisip ko din. Iba-iba. Ang dami kong, basta, sum, ang dami kong inex, uh, parang pinakitang ideas sa kanila. So, ito yung pinaka na gusto. Are you planning po na mag-release ng iba pa po? Um, we'll see how this one goes. First, of course, um, I'm also curious to see like what the feedback's gonna be, how people are gonna enjoy reading it, um, if they like my voice, if, diba, kasi dapat magkoconnect din sila sa voice ko, and um, if they like the story. Maganda naman yung ending. Kaya, Pia, can you describe your ideal space in writing, like your environment? How this My favorite time to really think about um, a story or what the, the possible scenarios is when I'm alone, especially when I'm in an airplane. Because wala kang distraction. So when you're in an airplane, naka walang signal, wala ka rin mga masyadong makakausap, lahat tahimik, di ba, or natutulog. I take the time to to write down all my ideas, to write everything down. Um, because that's my free time when I'm in an airplane and I have long flights. Also because I'm scared of flying and I distract myself by writing something. Uh, what about the mood? Are you, uh, I mean, are you good in writing when you're happy or when you're sad? Oh, the mood. Um, not, it depends. I mean, in, I'm in different moods. Sometimes, um, when I'm when I'm in a major down na ho, that's when I think of ano kaya mga pwedeng mangyari sa kanya, ano kaya mga pwedeng pagdaanan niya, ano kaya pinito niya lang ganyan. So it becomes, gets a more serious tone. But then overall, the book is a light read. I don't want people to think that it's a tragic story. It's not. But um, my mood when I when I think of ideas, it has to be, it's better as soon as I wake up para clear yung mind ko. It's also better when I'm alone. I'm also more productive in an airplane for some reason because I have no distractions. And Miss Pia, what your YouTube at the channel? What do you decide to say? I have found it for the same YouTube channel. So, um, again, it was one of the ideas I had for a while now. Pero hindi ko siya nagagawa. Alam mo yung lagi mo sila sabi. Gusto ko magkaya YouTube channel pero hindi mo naman talaga na sisimulan. So one day I said to myself. Ano ba? Kailan ko pa gagawin to? Gawin ko na ngayon. Like, what's stopping me? I literally only need to bring a camera with me everywhere I go. So that's what I did. Ano una, hesitant pa ako. Kasi I felt awkward talking to myself in a camera in public. Kasi parang nasanay ako ng ganito. So pag kausap ko yung sarili ko, hindi ko alam kung titingin ba ako sa mukha ko or sa camera. Ganyan. Awkward. So, but then, inipon ko ng inipon. Like, as I mentioned before, March yung lumabas na vlog, na latest vlog episode ko. March pa yun. So, as early as then, I've been vlogging already. Inipon ko ng inipon yung mga footage. Tapos, ngayon pa lang siya unti-unting lumabas kasi mas naging confident na akong i-share siya. Ano po yung mga possible na talaga yung target yung maging content ng vlog nyo po? So the reason why I started this vlog is I wanted to reintroduce myself to everyone. Everybody knows me as Pia Wurzbach, the girl who won Miss Universe 2015. But that was in 2015. I want to introduce myself again to everyone and show them what I do every day. Ang nakikita lang kasi ng mga tao yung mga pictures ko sa Instagram na syempre 
naka-makeup yan, naka-post na yan, naka-plano na yung mga post. Um, medyo curated kasi yung IG, di ba? So with YouTube, I wanted to show them the real side of me. What I do every day, how busy the schedule is. I almost missed the flight. We ran dito, ganon. Meron pang episode yan, di pa lumalabas. Ako conscious ako sa hosting ko ng World of Dance. So I even talked about it like, okay ba? Parang awkward pa ba ako? So my, my real thoughts, I say it in my vlog. Because I wanted to for people to see what I do every day, who I hang out with, what I do at home, how I have my downtime. But I mean, minsan may mga pasabog din ako like Star Magic Ball na, <laughs> <laughs> na mga episode, ganun. So it's a nice mix and match, you know. I want people to see the glam side, but also the human real side, funny side. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you mentioned earlier that it's also pageant season. Now, the two binibining sin end of and then patch and uh, Gazi are, are going to international stage later this year. Um, what do you think are the lessons they can get from the book? Upon reading it? If they have the time, huh, to read it. I don't want to insist because I know training time is serious. I don't need them. I mean, specifically for Gazini and Patch, I. Don't need them to write to read the whole book to get the life lesson because text you na lang ako. <laughs> text you na lang ako at magkapi na lang tayo at ikukwento ko na lang sa inyo yung mga mga life lessons. But um, for anyone, um, the kind of lessons you can take from there is that um, it makes you think. What defines a winner, ba talaga? Like what can I say? Parang ano ba yung kailangan mangyari para mas sabi ko sa sarili ko na nanalo na ako. Kailangan ba may corona? Parang yun yung mga tanong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of corona, have you seen the music in your press ground? The new one? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Meron na ba? I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, have, I haven't seen it yet. Miss Pika was saying for the vacation. Oh, it was a lot of fun. It was a last minute trip to Bali though. Like, we just decided to go a few days before the flight lang kami nag-book. My birthday blues ako actually no mga time na yun. So parang ayoko na lang mag-celebrate. Pero I was convinced naman by my family and my friends to go. So um, when we went, sakto, nagre-reunion din yung Miss Universe 2015 na girls. Yung mga kabatch ko. Not all of them. Maybe around 12 to 15 of them were there. And when I arrived, they were there already for nine days. So nag-start na sila ng tour nila around Bali. Sakto, same. Kasi malaki yung Bali. Sakto, same area nung dumating ako, nandun din sila. At birthday ko pa nung araw na yon So, nagkita-kita kami and they surprised me with a birthday cake. Mm -hmm. Saya. And, and si ate po from London, nagpunta ka, uh, papunta po sa birthday ko sa Bali. Yeah, um, she's actually my younger sister. But I no, I understand why people think she's older because she has two kids. Um, I thought that was very sweet. She got a few days off from work and she decided na she wanted to spend um, Th those few days off with me for my birthday. Ang haba ng flight, mm -hmm. pero she did it. So, I mean, thank you, sis. <laughs> Miss P, ano pa yung mga learnings niyo po itong 2019? And then, really look forward niyo po sa next year. Um, mga, I learned to use my voice this year. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing I learned. Um, I got used to parang going with the flow lang. I mean, I was always very parang I always had uh, like a vision and ano naman ako eh, um, I'm firm with what, what I want and what I stand for and I'm a go-getter naman ako. But then, of course, for a time, I felt like I got stuck in a routine na, okay, I wake up, I have a photo shoot today, and then tomorrow, mayroon akong ganito, travel dyan. And then it became like, is there anything else? Like, I want to do something else. I want to try other things. I want to get excited again. Yung feeling ko nung bago ko sumali sa Miss yung excitement at gigil, gusto ko siyang ibalik. Kasi nagahanap ako ng ano, parang lahat ng, I'm grateful for everything, masaya naman lahat, but I'm looking for that something that will excite me again. And I've started to see those changes already when I started saying what I want. Kasi, Ano ko eh, sobrang student kasi ako talaga. Parang I obey, masunurin ako, and I 
and I'm af sometimes I'm afraid that maybe my ideas are not good enough. But then I realized, you know what? If I don't try, I'll never know. So then I started I started my vlog. I mean Miss Puanon, Mugba Vlog Papo, Para, Wala naman yata Miss Universe na nang pa-vlog. But then I said, Hindi pa kit ba? Parang millennial din naman ako. So, kung marami ang gusto ng share. So, I just said, You know what? I'll try it. And then, with the book, finally, so I said, You know what? I'm not gonna let another year go by. And then, I'm still not doing this book. Pa, kapag nilaunch ko na to, nakalimutan na ako ng mga tao. Ganyan. So, I just said yes to the things that. The plans in my head, I finally started really doing it and really pursuing it. So that's the lesson I learned this year, is to listen to my voice and trust it.